children i will come you all to class for social studies class this is your fifth chapter that is industries lesson in this lesson we are going to learn about the types of industries so here i'll teach you in this video what is industry then how many types of industries are there and on what basis it is divided first let's see what is raw material the product obtained from nature is called raw material okay this is the first thing you should understand what is raw material that is the product obtained from the nature is called as the raw material so children let's start this uh, lesson uh, in your house you have seen many furnitures utensils is it vehicles huh? how all these have been uh, made that's the question is it so these furnitures are made using the wood again you can see here wood is obtained from nature is it so wood is a natural thing which you get from the trees it is a nature if you take the wood it will not be a furniture is it you need to process it you have to cut it and you have to uh, make shapes out of that wood then only you will get the correct shape of your furniture so wood is from the nature this is the natural thing and that is processed that product is called as the raw material here you can see wood is a raw material to make the furniture and you might have seen utensils in your house which are made out of steel iron copper and all so these are the raw materials iron copper steel these are the raw materials which you get from the nature again it will be processed so here you have iron copper as the raw material and these things will be processed which you get from the nature and these are manufactured means these are made into goods means whatever shape they want they will make it ready where it is done it's done in industry is it that place industry refers to a place where goods are manufactured where the thing is made in the industry you take the raw material first and again it will be processed and it will be made into a wood means goods means anything you can say table chair these are also called as goods only because we are using wood as the raw material and we are making it into a furniture is it where it is made it's made in industry in goods are manufactured this place is called as industry children okay i think it's clear now what is industry industry refers to a place where goods are manufactured you can say like this other variety of products are textiles means clothes which we wear you get cotton and wool these are the natural things okay then again it will be made into a uh, yarn then it will be processed and then you get the ready made clothes okay textiles this is also one of the product which is which we get from the industry okay then uh, uh, may it may be food crops also see we you grow jowar wheat rice paddy these all it is grown in the field but you can't eat it raw it has to be processed means it should be cooked into a soft uh, item see rice paddy you get it from the field it should be made uh, filtered it has to be removed all the skin then you get it as a white rice then it has to be cooked in your home then you will be able to eat it is it so this is the process means the natural things are 
taken and it has to be processed then you get the finished good in your house okay this is all about the industries cooking utensils also from steel you get and other metals furnitures these all are made in the industries even bread biscuits uh, other eatables are also from food crops these are also made in the uh, industries only so now let's see industries are classified as three types so industries based on the raw materials and the size of the industry and the ownership these are the three things on which we classify the industries industry play a very important role but industries are classified on the basis of raw materials size of the industry and the ownership so first one raw materials i said first is raw materials which are these raw material industries you see industries that depend on agriculture for raw materials are called as agro based industries children you see agro means what agriculture here i said it is agriculture based industry means uh, for raw these industries depend on agriculture for their raw materials it may be sugar industry textile industry paper industry tea coffee jute industries these all they depend on agriculture these are the examples of the uh, agro based industries for sugar you depend on sugar cane for the raw material for textile you depend on uh, cotton is it again it comes under the agriculture agricultural product and for tea and coffee they are also grown in the field for paper you need wood so these are the agricultural based industries so are they are called as agro based industries children okay then next one that is industries that depend on minerals for raw materials are called as mineral based industries mineral based industries which depend on minerals for agriculture example uh, steel iron automobiles cement drugs and chemical industries for all these you need iron as a uh, mineral copper is also a mineral then chemical some chemicals they are also out of minerals only you get so these depend on minerals so it is called as mineral based industries okay this is all about the raw material based industries first one is agro based and second one is mineral based industries now i'll show you the pictures of the industries where you find this which are based on the raw material and mineral based industries in a slide show i'll show now okay now let's see mineral based industries iron and steel industry is one of the oldest industries in india tata iron and steel company at jamshedpur in jharkhand is one such industry the other iron and steel plants are located at bilai in chatisgarh rorkela in odisha and bokaro in jharkhand in this image you can see where the iron and steel is manufactured children this is the one of the oldest industries in india that is iron and steel tata iron and steel industry at jamshedpur in jharkhand is one such industry so this is how the iron and steel are manufactured next is automobiles industries automobile industries manufacture various 2 3 4 and 6 wheeled vehicles you use two wheelers is it auto is a four wheeler uh, sorry three wheeler and uh, four wheeler industry four wheeler and six wheeled vehicles chennai delhi gorgaon pune and bengaluru are some of the major cities that manufacture automobiles automobiles means vehicles 
so these are manufactured at chennai delhi gorgaon pune and bengaluru next is railways engines and coaches are manufactured at chitranjan perambur varanasi and kapurthala these are the places where railway engines and coaches are manufactured the next is aircrafts aircrafts are manufactured by government owned factories in bengaluru lucknow nasik and korapat so to manufacture aircraft uh, you need government permission so they are called as government owned factories means where government is the one of the uh, owner we can say so there aircrafts are manufactured in bengaluru lucknow nasik and korapat ships are built at kochi mumbai and visakhapatnam built means where these ships are made ready so where do you use these ships you use it in seas and ocean and you find uh, kochi is also one of the bordering place where you have the sea or ocean mumbai again visakhapatnam there only you need ships so it's manufactured in kochi mumbai and visakhapatnam okay children this is all about the uh, mineral based industries agro based industries textile industry is another major industry in india some of the famous silk textile mills are in karnataka tamil nadu uttar pradesh west bengal odisha and bihar you can see in this picture where a uh, tractor has been uh, carrying the agro based raw material means agriculture based raw material to the factory so these industry depend on agriculture which are those textile industries where some of the famous silk textile mills are located in karnataka tamil nadu uttar pradesh west bengal odisha and bihar cotton textile mills are found in gujarat mumbai and tamil nadu woolen mills are located in haryana jammu and kashmir punjab and uttar pradesh jute mills are uh, found in west bengal sugar industries are located in bihar madhya pradesh maharashtra punjab uttar pradesh and tamil nadu india is the world's second largest producer of sugar after cuba cuba is a country which is the first largest producer of sugar and india is the second largest producer of sugar you can see here this is the industry of sugar other important industries in india include cement fertilizer pharmaceuticals chemicals and heavy machinery and paper industries these are the other industries which are located in india so this is all about the mineral based and agro based industries children now let's study about the science based industries depending on the size of the industry that is the amount of output the industry gives the number of people it employs and the amount invested they can be classified as large scale small scale and cottage industries so you can see here depending on the size means yeah, how much place it has occupied to make that industry it depends on that and the amount of investment how much amount uh, for large scale you need more amount for small scale you need less amount and for cottage industry you need uh, you can, it can be done in home only means in one single room you can also do it so it depends on the uh, place it depends on the amount and the number of people it employs means how many people are working in that industry it depends on that also for large scale you need a big place more investment and more number of people to work there so uh, under this it has been classified as first one large scale second one small scale and the cottage industry you can see here 
I hope it's clear. You learn what is industry, where goods are manufactured. That place is called as a industry and the types of industry. First one, raw material based and the mineral based and three types of industries that is large scale, small scale and cottage industry and you have learned types of industries based on raw materials, size based industries and ownership. So I hope it's clear now uh, about this industry chapter. We will meet in the next session. Till then take care. Thank you.